Hello everyone, welcome to another Monday movie, I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week the forums have been pretty quiet, everyone's still working on their Dominance War projects, so I wanted to show you a cool technique that I saw in a, mo in a, a commercial recently where they were slinging you know, house paint or something, and they had cut large squares out of um, out of objects in order to show you the variety of colors that you can get from their paint. It was kind of, you know, it was very artsy. I kind of liked it. And it's really a neat, uh, you know, lead-in to this technique because you often do need to, you know, cut shapes out of objects, and knowing how to do that is rather important. Um, in fact, some of the most talented modelers I know use this technique extensively to, um, in, in, in a lot of their projects. So let's have a look. I've taken this um, this small piece of landscape here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a square out of it just like the commercial um, you know like like they've extracted this color sample from the earth. So it's a very cool technique and if you haven't seen the commercial I'll be sure to include a, a link to it for you. So let's make a shape. I'm gonna pick um, from my create panel here shapes, splines. I'm gonna grab myself a rectangle and I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle really quick and and make sure that it's square by typing it in right here 50 and 50. Okay move it up just like that so that it's hovering above the surface above the surface right here you see that. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut the landscape with it right here so that it gets a little bit of the grass, a little bit of the um, curb, I guess, and a little bit of the, the street right here. So I'm going to select my landscape, it's all one object, and I'm going to go to, actually go to the Create panel, Geometry, Compound Objects in the pull down, and I'm going to go to Shape Merge, this Shape Merge object right here. And what that does is it converts this landscape into a shape merge object. And I can pick a shape that I want to cut out of it in, a, in perfect lines. So this is a, a perfect square, right? I click pick shape and then I click on this spline shape here. And now it has cut the geometry in a perfect square, which is very cool. And this can be anything. It can be a square, it can be a circle, it can be a diamond, it could be your company's logo. It could be anything. In fact, what makes this such a, an elegant object is I can go back to this rectangle. I can apply an edit spline modifier if I want. Edit spline. And I can go ahead and manipulate this square and have the cut that's made in this object dynamically update. You see that? No matter what I do to this shape, it's still cutting up the geometry underneath. Very, very cool. So I'm going to go back to the landscape. And so now that we've made the cut, we can, we can delete those faces. We can select and delete these faces and then extrude the geometry down in order to create that awesome effect. So I'm going to right click. And I can't see my right click menu because I'm recording, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to apply an edit poly modifier and then I'm going to collapse the stack cool and now if I go into my polygon sub object selection all of the faces on the interior are selected already just another awesome feature of the shape merge object keep in mind that this happened because this is a closed shape so squares circles letters will work but you know if you just kind of make a squiggle you're not going to get this um, face selection effect um, you know property so like I said all we have to do is delete these faces just hit the delete button I'm gonna go into the border sub object selection and select these open edges and now all I have to do is hold down shift and drag it down and I get those polygons if you're feeling particular, you can always align them to the z-axis and then cap that open space so now you have a polygon down here. And the rest is up to you, right? You can, you know, chop up some of these edges here with a chamfer tool if you wanted. Um, up here you could use a lot, maybe make it look like this has been here a while so you can kind of slope it down in there. 
Or you could, for example, muddy up some of this uh, curbside right here, make it look like someone had to really chisel out that concrete. It's really up to you. This is a powerful technique for this particular effect, but it's also a powerful technique in your general modeling pipeline, being able to cut shapes out of objects. I encourage you to try this out on your own. It's really a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.